Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Jody Hughes, Graham, Texas. A good ouch for the upgrade. Don't make me tug you and pull you along, says God. Take this wisdom on board as you step into the new. It's one of those good ouches needed for upgrade. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. Don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn when I take you where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along. Just come with me. Psalm 32, 8 and 9 from the Passion Translation. If we are to ride the waves of this next move of glory, we need to sharpen up our quick response to follow and not waste time resisting or being difficult or stubborn or scared or or even doubting. We are not called to watch from the sidelines, but be in the middle of the current and now. Help us, Lord. Help us to get really good at quickly following you where we haven't been before. Help us jump in and not miss all you're doing while we endlessly analyze and try and try to work out our uh, but how. There's a new wave of glory about to hit. There's a new wave of kingdom entrepreneurism about to break. God is training us now to extend the tent pegs over our faith and to trust so we are found on the cusp of the new. Discernment is biblical. Perpetual delay and procrastination is obedience. That's an ouch. Fear will keep you living off the leftovers of the last season, the last season's move. Instead, you must be boldly stepping into the discomfort of pursuing, I haven't been this way before. Everything, new and uncharted, feels uncomfortable, maybe even awkward at first. Slaying discomfort helps open up new realms of breakthrough. If we are to gain new authority and for never-seen-before breakthroughs, we must be okay with being a little awkward while we step out into the new and grow. None of us is beyond growing, especially especially as we take new ground. The good news is there's grace to advance into new. I hear the Spirit urging, Don't make me tug and pull you. What lies ahead is glorious. It's long prophesied. How amazing to be alive in these days. Let's not miss it standing on the shore. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, God, when we have made you tug us and pull us along. Lord, we repent for stubbornly resisting you, Holy Spirit. We trust in you, Lord. We trust that you will lead us, that you will grow our capacity for more, for expecting more, for not fearing the new. Lord, we are excited for seasons of revival. We want weighty glory. We want radical breakthroughs and miracles, signs and wonders, God, that we haven't seen before, Lord. We know that they are ahead. Lord, we ask for your grace, for your mercy, Lord, that we can ride this wave and not only just ride it, but we can thrive doing it. Lord, we don't want to be held back. We don't want to hold you back, certainly. Lord, we will follow you. Help us to curtail that time between our yes and your calling. Lord, I'm reminded even right now of of Abraham, God. It talks about when you asked him to sacrifice Isaac, it says, early the next morning. May we be early the next morning people, God, who follow you at our first chance. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.